Hello! In this video, we'll see how to improve your team collaboration using Jira and HipTest. But before talking about the tools, let's take a step back. As a product manager, when having new features to prioritize and develop, I always challenge the team with three basic questions. Why, what, and how? When it comes to managed planning, Jira is definitely one of the best options in the market. It gives you the ability to plan and track your project development progress. It helps you team answering the how. But planning is just one side of the coin. I see so many teams obsessed by the process and metrics that only measure planning efficiency. What's the value if you develop something that is worthless? Are you on track to deliver a feature that nobody wants? HipTest, on the other side, will help you team to answer simple but not easy questions. Why and what? Before planning any features into the sprint, we should ask the team to define what the feature should do and why we are supposed to implement it. This is the test-first approach, call it behavior-driven development or acceptance-testing-driven development approach that we do promote at HipTest. Once all the team is aligned on why, what and how, then you will reach development at the speed of awesome. Ready? Let's go. First, we start by defining the feature. And in order to use both Jira and HipTest together, you have a simple two-step setup to do. No complex synchronization. The integration is flexible and real-time. You just have to set up your Jira server address and then select the different Jira projects that you want to link with your HipTest project. This is as simple as this. Once done, you can link any Jira user story from your backlog to a feature in HipTest. So let's pick up a feature that the team wants to deliver during the coming sprint. An account holder can withdraw cash. We'll start describing this feature in HipTest by defining precisely the role and the benefits. Basically, we answer the why. This is typically discussed during the Free Amigo session if you use behavior-driven development. During this session, we also define the expected behaviors of the feature. What is it about? And to answer this question, we nail down the different use cases of the feature into one or multiple scenarios. In this case, a card has been disabled. So what happened in this case? Account has sufficient funds and another use case where the account has insufficient funds. HipTest will help you to define these different behaviors. Now, we've created a shared understanding of the behavior of this feature between all the project stakeholders. It becomes part of the definition of done. Developers will be able to implement it with a clear guidance and it will make your development process much more efficient. And as we are implementing the feature, how to make sure that the implementation meets the business expectations? Well, we just need now to execute them as checks. HipTest helps you define test runs and execute your checks manually or automate your tests. All the data coming from manual test runs as well as automated test runs will be visible in real time in Jira. And if you have a failed result at some point, you also have the ability to create a Jira issue directly from HipTest. You can also analyze your test coverage thanks to the trustability matrix. And if you use CI-CD process, it gives you insight on which features have been delivered and which ones are still work in progress. Thanks for watching this video.